that clear vision for us to become a global manufacturing powerhouse as well as to achieve Arnav Bharata in energy by 2047. A future where India is powered by local renewable and clean energy, thereby reaching net zero emissions by 2070. A future where the fruits of economic development benefit all Indians and reach rural India. Transportation sector is the largest consumer of fossil fuels, and this offers huge potential for alternative fuels such as bioethanol. Ethanol is substituted for fossil fuel and is produced from renewable sources like sugarcane, cereals, and agricultural waste. Further, its use in transportation does not require any new infrastructure setup. Being plant-based, ethanol has the lowest carbon emissions on a well-to-do basis, which makes it environment-friendly. An indigenous clean energy source. High ethanol will boost a growing economy by spurring rural investments and jobs. Ethanol is being used to substitute fossil fuels in many countries to benefit their economies and environment. India is also well endowed with surplus sugar, sugarcane, and food grain production. Further, ethanol can also be generated from excess food grains that get wasted. Thus, it can also help drive economic value from this waste. Under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister, India has achieved 11.5 percent ethanol blending in March 2023. 1,900 stations are dispensing E20 fuel in the country as of August 2023. This has saved precious forests, reduced GHG emissions, and created wealth for farmers. Given the huge potential, India will realize 20% ethanol blending in 2025 to 2026. In addition, under the PM Jivan Yojana, the government is encouraging new energy technologies which can drive ethanol from waste such as sun. This will provide additional income to farmers and reduce carbon pollution from sun burning every year. Since India has a huge availability of ethanol, we can rapidly realize a much larger fossil fuel substitution by introducing flex fuel vehicles or FFVs. Flex fuel vehicle technology can use even higher blends of ethanol beyond 20%. As India is also encouraging vehicle electrification, we can leverage advantages of both these approaches through the flex fuel self-charging strong hybrid electric technology, or electrified flex fuel vehicles. These vehicles have both a flex fuel engine and an electric powertrain, thus providing dual benefit of greater ethanol use and higher fuel efficiency. These vehicles have both a flex fuel engine and an electric powertrain, thus providing dual benefit of greater ethanol use and higher fuel efficiency. Higher electrified flex fuel vehicles offtake can help retain existing ICE investments, create EV parts ecosystem, and give India clean technology leadership. Electrified flex fuel vehicles provide higher fossil fuel savings and has the lowest carbon emissions on a well-to-green basis, as can be seen from Brazil experience. Since consumer acceptance is must for any new technology introduction, hence suitable policy support is essential. With government support and industry commitment, these advanced green technologies can rapidly displace traditional petrol and diesel vehicles. For Toyota, carbon is our biggest enemy. Our goal is to create a positive impact based on the principles of mobility for all, and leave no one behind. Towards this, we will continue to provide clean technology options that are best suited to the unique energy mix, infrastructure readiness, and consumer acceptance of each country. We are fully committed to support government's efforts for energy self-reliance and decarbonisation.
innovation by making India clean and advanced technologies not only for India but also for exports. As a significant step in this direction, we are introducing the Trojan of World's First BS6 Station Electrified Flex Fuel Vehicle. This makes a landmark moment in TKM's journey to sustainable mobility and towards our global environment challenge for achieving zero carbon emissions by 2050.